Auburn Football Review, featuring Coach Ralph Shook Jordan. Be sharp. Be ready. You are the champion of the best football conference in America. You guys can say tonight, man, there's nobody better than you. But I'm going to tell you what, we're SEC champs. The official Auburn Post Game Show since 1954. This is the Auburn Football Review, presented by Toyota. Welcome to the Auburn Football Preview, presented by Toyota. I'm Andy Burcham. The Tigers open the season September 26th against Kentucky. And we now welcome in Auburn head coach Gus Malzahn. Coach, a, a summer like no other as you get ready for this, the ebbs and flows of will we play, will we not play? What has it been like for you and the staff and this team gearing up for the 2020 season? Yeah, there's been a lot of ups and downs, there's no doubt. And I'm glad to get to this point where we know right now that we are playing. But uh, to get to this point, uh, you know, a very interesting times. You know, some weeks we uh, thought, hey, there's no way we'll play. Then other weeks we thought, hey, well, there's a good chance. And so just a lot of ups and downs. I really think our team has really bonded through all this and our staff. And we're just excited that uh, it's almost here and we're, we're getting ready for game one. Coach, when COVID shut everything down, you had still not gone through spring practice. So talk about trying to work spring practice into what turns out to be preseason practice this summer and this early fall. Yeah, that's been completely different. And, uh, you know, just really trying to evaluate our guys. So we really started out the very first two weeks of almost like spring evaluation. We were very physical, uh, you know, because we're, we're a pretty inexperienced team you know, compared to the years past. So we felt like we need to do that. And so now that, you know, we're, we're two weeks away now, we're starting to work on Kentucky, but it has been interesting. There's been a valuation piece and trying to put the pieces of the puzzle, you know, to get the best plan uh, for the season. You and I've talked a lot about leadership with this team. Who are the guys that you're looking to for the leadership with this Auburn Tiger team? Yeah, you know, KJ Britt, it uh, starts with him. Um, you know, a, a guy that's had a lot of success on the field, uh, a guy that uh, his teammates and coaches have a lot of respect for. Bo, Bo Nix has really raised his level of leadership, uh, you, you know, also. And then the guy like Smoke Monday has come on too. So we've got a good core group of leaders. And uh, this is a year, if there was ever a year that, that you need strong leaders, it's now. Uh, but our team's really responded to them. With no spring practice, that would have been a time certainly where you started to develop uh, an inexperienced offensive line. Just how important has that been during this preseason practice to, to get this offensive line ready for game one? Yeah, very important. You know, you look at the way things are now with no spring practice. You know, the veteran teams have to have an advantage. So we've been talking about that, and we've got to even be better. And uh, like I said, we put our guys through a whole lot of physicality with a lot of different situations, offensive line and defensive line. And, but I will tell you this, both groups will have a chance to improve uh, each game, and I expect them to. We'll have more with Coach Malzahn a little bit later on. When we come back, Brad Law sits down with Auburn's new offensive coordinator, Chad Morris. This is the Auburn Football Preview, presented by Toyota. One, two, three, go. Right now, during the Toyota Today's the Day sales event, get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2020 Toyota Camry, Corolla, and RAV4, plus 90-day payment deferral. Toyota, let's go places. I'm a Verizon engineer. And I'm part of the team building a powerful 5G experience for America. It's 5G ultra wideband, and it's already available in parts of select cities. Like Los Angeles. And in New York City. And it's rolling out in cities around the country. With massive capacity. It's like an eight lane highway compared to a two lane dirt road. 25 times faster than today's 4G networks. In fact, it's the fastest 5G in the world. On the network, more people rely on. This is 5G built right, only on Verizon. Back when we started this company, folks had the idea that all treated lumber was the same. Well, our little yellow tag put an end to that. Today, people know that the best does have a name, Yellowwood brand pressure treated pine. They use it because they can trust it to be around for years and years. And so will we. Here's to 50 years of five-star backyards and the little yellow tag.
Just like your favorite mascot, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama works hard behind the scenes. Proud sponsor of the Tide and Tigers. Welcome back on the Auburn Football Review. We visit now with Auburn Offensive Coordinator Chad Morris. This visit is brought to you by TruckWorks. Coach, here we go. I mean, we're right up against season number one coordinating Auburn's offense, and uh, we appreciate your time. We appreciate you joining us today to talk about this offense. And what an off season. What a bizarre time and, and preparation. Just want you to start with a few words uh, on the lack of a spring training and the lack of a normal fall prep period and, and your general thoughts here a week or less before the opening kick. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know how much the word normal has been used. Um, it's the new normal now, I guess you could say. But, you know, first of all, I want, I want to start off with, with our training staff and, and, and our doctors and medical team. They, they've done a tremendous, tremendous job. Um, they, I mean, they're, they're, they're working extremely hard and, and overtime just to just to keep things on point and keep us uh, all aligned. And they've done a tremendous job with our players. So, you know, my hat's off to them. They, they've, they've really been stressed. And, man, you would never know it getting to, getting to talk to those guys because they, they never hit, they never missed a beat. So, uh, you know, just, just trying to adapt. You know, that, that's been the biggest challenge, adapt to what, what, is, what is now the new normal. Um, and without a spring training, that, you know, that was, that was a big thing that um, – we were really looking forward to as, as we were about to start on the actual day we got released uh, was our spring practice. And so without a spring training, you know, it really put a huge emphasis in all the Zoom meetings that we had with our players during those six weeks we were out uh, and the importance of, of the retention of those guys. Uh, so when we did come back out of it, um, that we were at least be able to adjust and adapt and things would be a little bit familiar with them with the verbiage what we were asking of them, I was very impressed with how much they, the retention that they had over the break. Well, let's uh, start breaking down some X's and O's or some of the Jimmy's and Joe's a little bit. And let's start on the offensive line where you're going to replace four starters there. How physical have you been or have you wanted that battle to be up front and how pleased are you with their progress at this point in, in fall camp? Well, it's been, um, like all positions, it's been quite a, a, a movement. Um, you know, I, I've been pleased. I've been pleased with where we are. I think the addition of Brandon Council has been a great addition for us. He's really helped us out. Uh, we, we know that Nick is going to provide stability there at center for us. Uh, so we've, we've been excited about that. You know, I, I just really feel that the guys are, are they're, they're, they're progressing. Um, we're trying to find the, the, the five and settle in on those guys. And we feel like we've got a great combination right there. Broderis provides such a uh, some experience, and he also pro provides some some uh, some strength in there. So I'm I'm excited about where we are. We we've still got a lot of work to do, but uh, I think guys have been stepping forward. Trox is another one at that left tackle position. Alec is another one um, that we're really getting a lot of work there. From the guys that'll pave the way for the sake of time, we'll kind of put all the the skill guys together, and we'll start with Bo Nix. Just your thoughts on how he has progressed uh, from January to now, uh, and then your skill position guys, whether it's tight ends, wide receivers, or running backs, and kind of the potential for explosiveness in this offense with those guys this year, Coach. Well, I definitely think after, after going through our first three scrimmages, I think we have an opportunity to be extremely explosive. I think we got speed, we've got power, uh, we got a great combination. Um, I think he starts with, with the guy that's, that's running the show, and that's with Bo. And, um, uh, you know, he's, he's a gym rat, so to speak. I mean, he, you know, he, he can't get enough of the football and can't get enough of the meetings and the film study. And, you know, he's constantly got a great relationship, he and I, the dialogue back and forth, things that he sees, he likes. Uh, then, then you look out on the edge. I, I think, you know, when it starts with Flash, um, you know, one of the fastest players in college football, uh, if not the fastest, um, extremely explosive. I think he's He's really taken a lot of pride in taking his game to the next step. Um, Seth, Seth is a, is a guy that we knew what we were getting coming back, uh, a guy that provides the big physical presence out on the edge. Um, so I'm, I've been pleased with how he's progressed as well. Uh, and, you know, in the backfield, uh, it starts with Worm. And, you know, Worm has done a, a, a good job, a, a guy that now sees his role on this team in a much higher, higher value of where he's been. Uh, we got some some really good freshmen 
that I'm, I'm, I'm proud of. I think that they've progressed right along with everybody else. Um, again, it'll be interesting to watch these guys develop as, as the year goes. By that answer, you really get a sense for how many guys have a potential to make big impacts on this team. Coach, we, we appreciate your time very much. Uh, we look forward to seeing and hearing more from you throughout the year. War Eagle. War Eagle. That's Auburn Offensive Coordinator Chad Morris. When we come back here on the Auburn Football Review, we remember Coach Pat Dye. The Auburn Football Review is presented by Toyota. Let's go places. Verizon. Verizon is building a powerful 5G experience for America. And by TruckWorks, the official commercial truck dealer of the Auburn Tigers. We know perfect's not easy, but when you only use tea leaves instead of powder or concentrate, finding the right leaf is the difference between meh and perfect. Red Diamond. Expect perfection. Whether you're heading to an off-road destination for work or play, creating the perfect lawn to wrap up another Yard of the Month award, or preparing the fields for a bumper crop, think SunSouth, where you'll find quality John Deere equipment, affordably priced, and ready to help you tackle outdoor projects faster and more efficiently. And now, for those larger projects, think SunSouth to save on our new selection of John Deere compact construction equipment. SunSouth, proud to be the preferred tractor of the Auburn Tigers. Beginning the morning you opened your eyes, we spent every waking moment preparing you for the day you'd leave our nest. Whether it's driving to practice or helping with homework, it's all prepared you for, what am I going to be when I grow up? Will you be ready? After much thought, I made my decision to take my talents to the IBEW Local 613. The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers is not simply a job, it's a career. Visit IBEW613.org to begin a new future today. The United States was built on the foundations of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Millions of people have defended these pillars of our democracy. Please remember the sacrifice made by these Americans and make time to register to vote and obtain a government photo ID so you too can vote on November 3rd. Voting is a sacred right. Sacrifices made by those who so bravely serve our country should never be forgotten. We know perfect's not easy, but when you only use tea leaves instead of powder or concentrate, finding the right leaf is the difference between meh and perfect. Red Diamond, expect perfection. Remembering Coach Pat Dye is proudly presented by Yellowwood Brand Pressure Treated Pine. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for coming today. We're here to present our new head football coach. He is going to build a championship football team for Auburn during the 80s. I present to you now head coach Pat Dye. Pat. I'm extremely happy to be back in Alabama, Auburn, Alabama, that is, and see so many friendly faces and, and be in an area where football means so much to the people. I'm very excited about being at the University of Auburn. It is what I consider one of the top jobs in the, in the South. It is a school that has tremendous football tradition, and it is, it is a school that I remember playing against and and having coached against the University of Auburn at, at times when they were certainly a feared football power in the South. And I'm confident that uh, with the support of the Auburn people, the alumni, the former players, the student body, the faculty, the administration, that we will be able to bring this great football tradition back to what it once was. And we're looking forward to this challenge with the great anticipation, a lot of enthusiasm, and realizing fully that it is going to take a lot of hard work and uh, probably a lot of patience on your part and our part, but uh, we will get the job done in the end. It's now time for Perfection on the Plains, presented by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. 
The 2009 Auburn football team showed glimpses of what could be the following season. I think that year, if you go back and look, we only won eight games, uh, but they were it was critical on how we played a lot of those games, even in some of the losses. And the nucleus of our team was coming back, and we got to learn how to win. We added, obviously, a couple of critical pieces to the puzzle uh, with some junior college players uh, and some young freshmen. One specific junior college transfer was an athletic quarterback named Cam Newton. We knew how we would use him, but we didn't know what he would be like on game day. The signing of him was exciting because we had this bigger than life, huge player that was one of the best junior college players in the country, this physical specimen when he walks in the door. So all those things were exciting to us, but we really didn't know exactly what we had at that point. We were just excited to get the, uh, you know, to get the confirmation that he was coming to all. In Newton's first game as a Tiger, he showed off just what he could do. From the 49 yard line, Newton's gonna go deep down the field, car the intended receiver. He makes the catch at the five and into the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn! The H back, Newton fakes the handoff, runs the draw. Newton 30, 35 40, 45 50, down to the 40, to the 30, to the 20. Nobody's gonna catch him. To the 10, to the five. Touchdown, Auburn! Cam accounted for 357 yards of total offense, including 171 yards rushing and three touchdowns. He passed for two more scores as Auburn defeated Arkansas State 52 to 26. You may know Auburn, but do you really know Auburn? We work hard, dream big, and soar past today's limits to the possibilities of tomorrow. Auburn, if you thought you knew us, think again. War Eagle. Right now, during the Toyota Today's the Day sales event, get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2020 Toyota Camry, Corolla, and RAV4, plus 90-day payment deferral. Toyota, let's go places. Beginning the morning you opened your eyes, we spent every waking moment preparing you for the day you'd leave our nest. Whether it's driving to practice or helping with homework, it's all prepared you for, what am I going to be when I grow up? Will you be ready? After much thought, I made my decision to take my talents to the IBEW Local 613. The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers is not simply a job, it's a career. Visit IBEW613.org to begin a new future today. The United States was built on the foundations of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Millions of people have defended these pillars of our democracy. Please remember the sacrifice made by these Americans and make time to register to vote and obtain a government photo ID so you too can vote on November 3rd. Voting is a sacred right. Sacrifices made by those who so bravely serve our country should never be forgotten. Welcome back to the Auburn Football Review. It's time now to visit with Auburn Defensive Coordinator Kevin Steele. It's brought to you by TruckWorks. Coach, season number five, coordinating Auburn's defense, and you talk a lot about playing to a standard. It doesn't matter where you play, when you play, who you play, and um, boy, no more season is that uh, fitting than this one. Just talk, if you would, about uh, preparations for this season up to this point. Well, it, it, it's been a little bit different but that's okay. Uh, you know, on defense, uh, it's a little bit different than offense. Offense, they, they call their play, they tell them where to line up, they tell them what to do. Uh, on defense, we're, we're continuously, every play, adjusting multiple times. Uh, we have to adjust to what the offense does. So, in terms of adjusting to all the, the things that we've had to adjust to in the offseason, that's just the way we're built. 
Uh, we stick to our standard, rel relentless pursuit to the uh, uh, relentless effort, uh, physical and mental toughness, and tackling. The adjustment part of it, that's, that's just that's part of defense. And there's adjustments week after week, depending on the opponent, as you go through the season as well. And let's talk a little bit about uh, some of your guys who help set that standard. You rely on upperclassmen, the experienced guys, uh, to, to set that standard for the younger players. Right. And let's start with your linebacking core, where there's a great deal of leadership. Well, we've got uh, McLean and K.J. Britt. Uh, and Owen Popo, those three guys have, have played a lot of football. They're very, very smart guys. Uh, they've been in crucial situations to where they, you know, the pressure's on, they have to respond. And so they're far enough along in the process that they don't have to worry about their mental mindset. They can, they can affect others in a positive way. On that defensive line, Coach, you lose a, a couple of real stars to the NFL draft. and. Um, you've always talked about you've got a plan. You always plan for players to graduate or to go to the NFL, and, and you've got guys waiting in the wings. You've recruited well the last several years. Talk about some of the guys that we will hear more from this season on the defensive front. Well, we've got a, a group of uh, Zacchaeus Walker, Burks, uh, Dre Butler, uh, that group of guys that, uh, that, that we have in the young group, uh, but then Kobe Wooden has really emerged. Uh, he, he's playing like an upperclassman now. And so then we have the guys back with Big Cat Bryant, T.D. Moultrie, Truesdale, Newkirk, that group of guys. So we, we have the numbers. Uh, now, is the experience there? Uh, no, it's not. But the ex experience uh, only is, means what you've done in the past, and football is based on what you do now. So uh, they're going to have to gain some, gain some experience in the now, which is really what's important. How do you respond in the now? Well, Coach, just a few general thoughts now on the season and, and the schedule. Uh, you always play a gauntlet in the SEC. It's a challenge week after week, and particularly this condensed season, the, the fat is trimmed away, and you open right out of the gate with an SEC opponent in Kentucky. Right. Uh, I, I've kind of embraced it. I, I enjoy it. Uh, you know, having coached in the National Football League, uh, they're, they're, they're all in the National Football League. And, and you don't pick when you play them and what time you play them. The league office does. And, and so that's really what's happened this year with us in the SEC. You know, uh, we, all, we always say, you know, there's the NFC and the AFC and the SEC. And so we're getting to play like the NFL now. Isn't that the truth? Coach, thanks very much. We appreciate the time today. All the best this season. War Eagle. War Eagle, thank you. That's Auburn Defensive Coordinator Kevin Steele. We'll be back with more after this on the Auburn Football Review. The Auburn Football Review is presented by Toyota. Let's go places. Verizon. Verizon is building a powerful 5G experience for America. And by TruckWorks, the official commercial truck dealer of the Auburn Tigers. Right now, during the Toyota Today's the Day sales event, get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2020 Toyota Camry, Corolla, and RAV4, plus 90-day payment deferral. Toyota, let's go places. And you don't know where to go. Listen real close, I'll tell you what I know. Thanks a lot for make you smile. Pick up the phone, here's the number to dial. Down three, for me. Three, 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 three. Thanks a lot for me. For me. Three, 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 three. Thanks a lot for me. For me. Three, 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 three. Thanks a lot for me. Three, 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 three. Thanks a lot for me. Three, 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 three. Thanks a lot for me. In football and the truck game, it's all about performance when choosing your lineup. And with legendary horsepower and gas-powered torque, smart technology like the available Pro Trailer Backup Assist and a championship tradition, Ford F-150 is more than a truck. It's your starting quarterback and the official truck of the Auburn Tigers. Contact or visit your local Ford dealer for great offers on a 2020 Ford F-150. War Eagle. You may know Auburn, but do you really know Auburn? We work hard. 
dream big, and soar past today's limits to the possibilities of tomorrow. Auburn, if you thought you knew us, think again. War Eagle. Welcome back to the Auburn Football Preview. Auburn opens the season against Kentucky. Airtime on the Auburn Sports Network bright and early at 8 a.m. Coach Malzahn joins us again. Coach, if you would, just talk about getting ready for this Kentucky team with not a lot of uh, tape. I mean, you haven't played anybody yet, and also a brand-new quarterback coming in for Kentucky. So a lot of uncertainty about this team coming in. Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, you know, the way everything's transpired when they added the two extra SEC games, they changed up the schedule. You know, we've had to really uh, – you know, do our homework on Kentucky. You know, we played them in 2015. That's been a long time ago. Uh, so it's really just a, a matter of, um, you know, trying to get the best plan possible. The thing that stands out to me about them is their, their veteran group, offensive line and defensive line, and uh, got a veteran team. So, uh, you know, we'll need to play well. Coach, what do, what do you expect from the atmosphere at Jordan-Hare Stadium in that opener? Because typically it's 87,000 or more in the stadium and maybe another 20,000 outside the stadium as far as the atmosphere is concerned. So what do you expect it with a much smaller crowd and, and that type of thing for game one? Yeah, you know, that's a good question. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll just, uh, we'll be ready for whatever. I know the good thing is most of our fans will be students. And I think that's a, a big advantage for us. I know they're going to be loud, um, you know, so we'll just have to adjust as we go as far as the atmosphere goes. Coach, you brought in Chad Morris as your offensive coordinator. He will call the play. So what will this game be like for you? as the head coach with somebody else calling the plays against Kentucky. Yeah, you know, I'm really excited about it. Uh, you know, I have a better understanding of uh, just the overall everything we're doing. I know special teams, I'm uh, excited to help, you know, be a part of that, but just administer the game and, uh, you know, you know, watch our guys work. Depth has been such a big key, but maybe even more important going into this season because things can change so dramatically from one week to the next. Do you feel that you've been able to establish the kind of depth that you want as you get ready for the season over? Well, we've, we've worked extremely hard in that area. Uh, all the what ifs and trying to get our twos and more reps than normal, our three more reps than normal. So we'll just have to see how it goes. But you know, you're exactly right. You've got to be prepared. Uh, you've got to adjust. Um, you know, the fact that we're testing three times a week and you can find out on Friday, you may not have guys available. So it'll be a really interesting uh, season as far as that goes. Coach, thank you for the visit. Look forward to that opener against Kentucky. All right, thank you. For Coach Gus Malzahn, I'm Andy Bersham. You've been watching the Auburn Football Preview presented by Toyota.